Hi guys, welcome back. I just woke up so early, so if my voice sounds weird, sorry. <laughs> So I went to Sephora and I went and I got the new, well not new, but kind of new, um, Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. This is how the packaging looks like. I think a lot of Clinique products have that packaging like this. So, um, I got my, when she, for, okay, for some reason I don't like to get color corrected at Sephora. I feel like they don't know what color to choose for me. They always give me the wrong one. I always have to go back to the store and change it, so I'm kind of scared for this one. Um, but yeah, this is the foundation that I got. I wanted to do a review on it because there was so many people doing a review on it. And even Nicole Guerrero loved it, so I really wanted to try it. And this is how the foundation looks like from the inside. That's how it looks like. Um, it says it is a foundation and a concealer. I got mines in 18 Sand. Um, <clears throat> it says allergy tested, 100% fragrance free, uh, moderate to full coverage, natural matte finish. It says this foundation and concealer is one is one covers thoroughly with a lightweight feel, naturally flawless look, lasts all day for all over coverage or used to spot conceal, and is oil free also. So that's good because I'm so oily. And it brings how many? It brings one fluid ons, ons, ons. I can never say ons. <laughs> okay, so that's the information about the, the the foundation. Something that I love that is the reason why I really wanted to pick it up is because it brings this. It brings like this. See right here. It doesn't do like. It doesn't come like in a pump like this. Like my Too Faced Born This Way. And it also doesn't come like this, as my Maybelline Fit Me, that you have to like square some onto the back of your hand. So annoying, right? So this one comes like this. I think it's just so cool how it comes. This is how it comes. Okay, so to start this review, I am going to start by applying some of my L'Oreal uh, Magic Perfecting Base. Just around here where I have a lot of pores. And around my nose because that foundation always disappears around my nose so let's see how this foundation does hopefully it's a good match because the girl thought that this one was not gonna color match me and she said that was in the middle of two of them so I was like girl you better give me one because I'm not buying two so <laughs> okay so I'm gonna apply the foundation It looks so light, oh my gosh. It looks very, very light. I have a lot of scars on this side, so that'll be good to see how it colors it. I'm gonna go in with my beauty my damp beauty blender. Mine's really dirty, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender. up to my eyes because it does say that it's a concealer so let's see okay, that's how it looks blended it blended really quickly and really nice so that's good um i'm gonna compare it on the back of my hand to the color like from my other foundation see right here the two face born this way is the first one right here and then this one is that one so it's a little light for me. I, I will have to go in and change for a lighter one, of course. I already knew that. Let's just keep going with the review even though it's too light. As you can see, it really did cover everything and I didn't use that much foundation compared to this side, like this. So now let's put it on. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M439 brush. I'm just gonna pat it. 
On the, com on the computer, it does look really, really light on me. Okay, so this is how foundation looks like, how you can see. It is a tiny, tiny bit light. It's, it's not that different from my body, you see? It's not that different. Um, she did tell me that it was... My neck is a little bit darker than my chest and my face for some reason. I have no idea. But this foundation, it really doesn't look that light. I feel like it looks pretty much my exact skin tone. Um, I think the color is even better than my Milani foundation that all of you guys said that it was good for me. I think this one's actually better. But um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay. So this is what the foundation looks like zoomed in. Don't go... I'm sorry girl, my eyebrows are not on fleek today. But yeah, this is how it looks like. It looks a little bit dewy. It doesn't look completely matte. It looks like... I didn't need to go in back with another layer at all, so that's a good thing. So, it's the same as my skin tone, as you can see. It's just the undertone is different. It has a pink undertone. It doesn't have a uh, yellow undertone, because I'm yellow undertone. So, but this is how it looks like. So, I'm going to finish the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the fun how the foundation looks like after I applied my makeup. Um, I applied bronzer, highlights, um, concealer. I set it with um, the RCMA No Color powder. I put pretty much everything that I will put in a normal day to go to school. It is a lot of makeup, and I love it. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, um, I already applied everything I had applied. Um, my okay. I love how this foundation looks like I legit love it I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror right here right here I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror the colors perfect I'm not even gonna go change it I love how my skin looks sometimes I don't like to do my makeup with all these lights I always turn them off and then do my makeup um, and in the when I turn off all the lights my makeup always looks dark and like muddy cuz I am brown skin but this foundation looks so nice so natural so beautiful I didn't have to put so many concealer I didn't color correct if you can see I did not color correct and I love how it looks I love how I covered everything with one boom swipe like I didn't have to go over and over again with sometimes I have to go over and over again with these sides right here because I have a lot of acne marks right here but I didn't have to do that it looks so good I really really like the foundation I bought it to do a review on it but I I, I was gonna buy it anyway even, even without the review because literally so many people have been loving it that I was like okay maybe I should give it a try so I think this might be my favorite foundation hopefully it lasts good during the whole day um, I'm gonna go to school now and then I'm gonna go to work so I should be back by 5 so I'm gonna keep you guys updated throughout the day of how it looks like but so far I love this foundation it looks so nice look at <laughs> so I'll be right back okay so I'm at school now. Find my light. So it's about 12:35, something like that. Um, I have been checking the foundation. Um, I don't know yet. All I know is that I look a little bit powdery. I don't know why. I don't think as a foundation it has to be that concealer. I mean the powder. But um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's not so yeah, everything looks good. It looks good. Everything looks pretty good. Um, not oily or anything. Um, my makeup looks flawless. I love this foundation. Like I'm still in love with it. Um, all the only thing is that I need to change my concealer because this one keeps on creasing a little bit, but not that much, just a little bit. But it has nothing to do with the foundation. It literally covered every um 
my under eyes, like the discoloration, it really covered it. So it is pretty good for a, for a concealer also. So I'm very happy about that. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm outside. Um, this foundation does have a white cast because I took a couple of pictures. I'll put them in right now. And yeah, it gives a white cast. I don't know. It probably doesn't. It's just because I... The foundation is probably a little bit light on me, but dang, I don't know why it gives a white cast. If it looks pretty much my same skin tone, but yeah, this is how it's been looking right now. Pretty good. Okay, so I just looked at myself in the car mirror and um, hold on. I feel like I look so nasty. Like you can't even see it on the phone. Like on the phone, it looks so good, but I don't know. It just makes my skin look nasty. Is it only me? Am I, am I seeing things? Like, I don't know, like, I feel like my pores are bigger and on camera it doesn't get it, but it's totally different color. Like, I don't know, I feel like, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I do have to go get a darker shade. I look a little like ashy, I look ashy. I really don't want to go to work like this. I feel so ashy. And my nose, I lost, I lost all the makeup, all the foundation from my nose right here. I don't know. I, I feel a little nasty. I don't want to go to work like this. I feel like it got all in my lines. All in right here it looks so nasty. Like right here, you see? Ah, it looks so nasty. I don't like it. Mm -mm. So the last video that was I recorded it was in the car and I was wondering why the foundation looked so light on me like it made me look gray so I was, I was like why does it look so light it looks so good at home but um, I was reading online and the foundation I think oxidizes is that how you say it so the foundation gets lighter throughout the day so I think I'm gonna go pick up a different color like a darker color like the, the next one because this one is good but then like two hours later it just got so tall light i don't know if you guys can see it i look kind of grayish compared to my neck and i don't know i feel kind of dirty like when i have foundation that's too light for my skin tone my skin starts getting dirty and i lost well i touched this pimple but um i lost all the foundation right here on my nose and it started getting really dirty i'm sorry you guys don't want to see this i know but it's just you know it's the real thing and then what and then i think my concealer's not a good concealer so it's not a little creasing so I don't know okay so okay so I'm back from school right now it is 5:47, and I've had this foundation since 9 30 so 9 30 10 30 like almost nine hours right yeah like almost nine hours um as you guys know I already you know was talking to you guys throughout the day and I really do like this foundation um, the problem that I'm having around my nose I kind of figured that it's not because of the foundation it's well it is like probably 20% but it's mostly because I need to exfoliate my nose and I need to take get rid of all those blackheads that I have in my nose it's really nasty I never noticed it before I don't know how but so yeah, so I really like the foundation, but I'm going to go to Sephora right now after I'm done with this video and I'm going to get a different color. If not, then I'm just going to return it because it's too light for my skin tone. I can't really take pictures with flash and I look a little bit washed out right here because of these lights right here. You can't really notice it, but I look washed out like gray. So maybe I could change the settings on the camera. Let me check. Hold on. Okay, so I changed the settings of my camera. You can't really see it on this settings either. This is more of a natural white light. But I feel like I look washed out. So I, I know it's not, it's not my favorite color foundation. But the foundation itself, I loved. Like, I can't say enough good things about it. So um, I am going to get a different color because I really do like it. So 
that's a good part but yeah this is the review that i have for you guys anything else i will leave it down below right here so you guys could check it out i'll write everything that i think about this foundation down below and it's, if you have problems with like the foundation not staying around your nose area then i don't recommend this foundation because this always happens to me, but with this foundation, it happened even more. And I haven't even touched my face. I haven't blotted my face or anything. So I don't know why that happened, but... But yeah, so... And this is the, re the review that I have for you guys on the Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm so excited that I hit 700 subscribers. It's so unreal to me. I think right now I have 722 720 something subscribers and it's so I don't know it's just crazy how so many people subscribe to my channel and I'm so grateful for you guys I love you guys so so much um you know I always send blessings to you guys because you know I feel so close to you guys but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial please give it a very big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet I'll leave a link somewhere here if you're in a desktop or just click subscribe down below if you're in a mobile device. So yeah, so I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.